I'm Dr. North. Traveling the world, kicking down doors, giving you backstage access to the next big thing while it's still in the making. On this trip, I'm in Mexico City with the Institute for the Future, researching maker spaces and visiting the mayor's office of innovation. And I just heard about something that made me put my pants on. I'm gonna open it, we gotta see if they made the flight. It has small silver wires that go into its antenna, so for a couple moments we can control the cockroach. So I have an app that'll talk to this chip. All right, it found it. All right, we're good. And so then we gotta plug the roach in. Hola, cucaracha, tú necesitas trabajar un poco para nosotros, pero solo por algunos segundos. And so now he's plugged in. Okay, when the light turns on, he'll move. I'll see if it works. Whoa, that was, yeah, he, whoa, whoa, okay, yeah. This work has existed for about 10 years, but in highly funded government labs, so we wanted to make a, a version that was cheap enough for normal people to experiment with. This technology is actually used in medical devices such as cochlear implants for Parkinson's who are allowing students to start experimenting with the technology that's used to really help people. Tim actually sells these as kits. Here's how you go about building your own robo roach. Ice bath anesthetic, attach electrode wires to connector. Attach connector to cockroach. Insert ground wire in thorax. Insert electrode wire in antenna. Secure electrode wires with hot glue. And then plug in the electronics. Swiping left sends an impulse to the neuron in the right antenna, tricking the cockroach into thinking it bumped into something and making it turn left. I hear you can even control a human. Yeah, we can. We can do that right now. Right now? <laughs> Critics of the Roboroach often said, how would you like it if someone controlled you? And my response was, well, that's a great idea. So we've said about inventing that, this, but for humans. Roboroach. As a scientist, I'm intrigued. As a human, I'm not too sure about this one. I want to know what you think. Say it in the comments and click subscribe so you don't miss an episode of In the Making.